So we all have heard the news about, you know, how Microsoft or, you know, Valve or these other gaming companies have been hacked, but uh, we really didn't know by who or, you know, if anything was done until now. Four individuals have been charged with hacking Microsoft, the US Army, Epic Games, Valve, and Zombie Studios with acquiring more than 100 million in intellectual property announced by the US Department of Justice. According to an indictment returned by the federal grand jury in the District of Delaware in April and unsealed on Tuesday, the group allegedly stole Xbox One, Xbox Live intellectual property, and proprietary data. The group also allegedly obtained pre-release games such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Gears of War 3, along with the US Army Apache helicopter training software you know, developed uh, by developer Zombie Studios. Now to name the individuals responsible for this. Nathan Lorax, 20, of Maryland, Sanada Neshawa, 28, from New Jersey, David Parkora, 22, from Canada, Austin Alcala, from Indiana. Now, they are jointly being charged with a conspiracy to commit computer fraud, copyright infringement, identity theft, wire fraud, theft of trade secrets, and mail fraud. They are also each face charges of individual counts of aggregated identity theft, wire fraud, copyright infringements, and unauthorized computer access. Oh man, that just just means that these guys are in a lot of boat of trouble, and um, I'm just glad that they're actually you know getting what they deserve. Uh, they definitely made a really huge mistake by um, hacking something that was you know had to do with the army, which was the uh, you know the contract with uh, Zombie Studios. And yeah, definitely the U.S. is not going to take that lightly. They're definitely going to go after you and they're going to do whatever it takes to make you pay, which are, they're definitely, those guys are experiencing at the moment, you know, the full power of the Department of Justice of the U.S. with that, you know, the bang hammer, bam, right in their, you know, grails. <laughs> and they're definitely going to be regretting this for the rest of their lives because, I mean, pretty much everybody knows who they are and what they did. Um... Now, from all the things that they actually stole, you know, were like the unreleased software, software, you know, source code, trade secrets, copyright stuff, you know, the pre-release works, other confidential and proprietary information from like, you know, the company itself. Um, also, you know, financial and other, you know, sensitive information relating to the company, you know, they, from all the stuff that they stole, what the thing that, you know, stood out on me the most for me that... You know, it definitely gave a huge red flag, you know, that these guys were not just, you know, your everyday hackers. That this was, you know, these guys were the real criminals and that they really had a plan. But, you know, they fucked up somewhere. It's that they try to, you know, they try to steal one of the development kits from the Microsoft's headquarters. You know, literally they went into a building. They took the dev kit, you know, that was going to, you know, from the console that was going to be released, you know, two months later. Which this happened in September. And that they literally, you know, stole the information from the employees in order to, you know, to, you know, physically go inside the building. Now, this, if this does not, you know, give you a huge red flag or, you know, screams at you, oh, this is a criminal and that this guy should go to jail and that this guy was not just doing something just for the heck of hacking. Like, you know, we hear about other hackers that they just do it for, you know, fun, for the excitement, for, you know, in order to prove a point, point that, you know, the certain company's security was lacking, that they didn't actually take anything away. But this guy did more than that and beyond. And I am glad that this is happening to these guys and they actually are paying for their actions and they, they can just get away. And it also sends a message to other hackers that are trying to, you know, do something like this in order to just get an easy buck or whatever the reason they feel like it's you know okay for them to do something like this to like rethink things before they do it because they don't are just gonna you know go themselves into a, like a whole lot of deep shit that they probably would never even want to be in and even think about being in it and it's not probably not worth it man you gotta freaking work your money like the rest of us Okay, you guys, I'll be making this the stopping point because if I went into any more details about this or and talked about more, it would definitely be here more than 20 minutes. And if you guys want to know more stuff or into greater details or maybe something that I might have missed that you might want to know, I'll be leaving the article down in the description box. And I would definitely want to hear your thoughts about this whole ordeal, you guys. Whether you believe, you know, hackers, you know, may be made paid and responsible for the 
damage that they cause, not just for the companies, for, but for the consumer as well. You know, I would really much appreciate it and want to hear about it. And if you would like the video, might as well hit that like and let other people know about this information by sharing. And if you haven't done so already, you might as well hit that subscribe to keep yourself updated into future content. And remember that this was Fear D. I'll be seeing you guys later.